Right now, it is time for us to check sports here on The Breakfast Club on Robin Hood Radio. And I'll tell you right now, um, Mike Kazi always said this to me. Uh, the baseball season is not defined by the opening of the baseball season. A lot can shake out and a lot can happen. But if you fall too far behind, it's hard to make up those games. Well, we're going to look at the standings for Major League Baseball in just a few moments. Uh, taking a look at the uh, scores from yesterday that involve uh, our teams. The Yankees shut out Tampa Bay 2 to nothing. The Orioles beat Toronto 6 to 5. Boston downed Oakland 6 to 1. The Mets shut out Milwaukee 4 to nothing. So what do, what do I mean by what I said? Well, here it is uh, in, in a nutshell. Um, and we'll take a look at the standings and we'll go over all the standings. We'll start off with the American League East. The Yankees, they defeated Tampa Bay, now have a nine-game lead on Toronto, a 10-game lead on Tampa Bay, and Boston is 12 and a half back, Baltimore 19 back. Now, Boston has been playing exceptionally well, 8 and 2. But over that same period, the Yankees have been 9 and 1, so the Yankees actually gained a game on Boston. Now, Boston has really closed the gap on Tampa Bay and Toronto, which means that Boston is very close to getting in the wild card race. But uh, Toronto has gone six and four in the past ten games. Tampa Bay five and five, and the Yan Yankees nine and one. That makes a nine-game lead over Tampa Bay. So you're more than one third through the season. So that means basically you've got 120 games left. Now, if the Yankees just win out of those 120 games, eh, let's say they win 70 which is a lower win percentage than they have now. That means the other teams have to go 80 and 40. It gets harder and harder as you go into the season. Now you go to the AL Central. Minnesota has a two-and-a-half game lead over Cleveland and a three-game lead over the White Sox. Not too bad for those teams. In the American League West... Once again, Houston has an eight and a half game lead over Texas, nine and a half over Los Angeles. It's tougher to make those up over the long run when you're more than one third of the way through the season. The Mets, they have a five game lead over Atlanta. So, I mean, so that's going to be a nice competition. Atlanta has gone 13 in a row without losing. The last 10, they're 10 and 0. The Mets are 6 and 4. Uh, Philadelphia is 8 and 2 and uh, Miami is 7 and 3 over those times. But uh, Atlanta is 5 games back, Philadelphia 9 and a half and Miami 11 and a half back. In the National League Central, St. Louis has a 2 and a half game lead over Milwaukee and then everybody else is way back. And in the West, the Dodgers are tied with San Diego and San Francisco is just 3 games back. So that looks like it's going to be a three-team horse race. But uh, the Yankees are in a stretch now where they play Tampa Bay, Toronto, and I do believe Boston over the next eight games. So um, we'll have to see what's going to happen there. All right, uh, switching over to the National Basketball Association. Uh, Golden State has a three-game to two lead over the Celtics. The next game in that final will be tomorrow. Taking a look at the National Hockey League, the finals for the Stanley Cup will kick off today, game one. Tampa Bay will be taking on Colorado. That is today, all right? Okay. Um, the news out of the golf world is that, I'll tell you, with the start of this uh, new Saudi league, 
uh, and it's really torn apart the players' relationships on the PGA Tour and uh, done damage there. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out over the course of the next month to two months. And the uh, PGA Tour, Roy McElroy, he won the Canadian Open last week. This week, it's the U.S. Open. That runs uh, tomorrow through the 19th. And we'll have to see what effect uh, these other players not playing at, uh, who are now playing in the uh, Saudi back league, see what effect it has on the U.S. Open. Well, that is a check on sports this morning here on Robin Hood Radio.